right, finally back, and I have a box. Finally picked it up. I'm a little concerned, though. Even though it's marked fragile all over, check out the state of this. How many of you have had RCs or packages come in the email, well, or internet, pardon me, through email, uh, that say fragile, priority mail, but they turn out to be completely destroyed. But I have faith. I know there's something good on the inside. Hopefully this will actually turn out. Razor blade. Let's see. Hopefully my buddy Charlie packaged this well enough. Look at that, wow. Hopefully on the inside everything is okay. Aha, and there's a note. I like notes, yes, it's well bubble wrapped. <clears throat> it's one of my very awesome moderators at RC Sparks in the forums. I saw this actually uh, in the classified section and he had listed it and as soon as I saw it, I snapped it up. I had to, especially because it was from him. Uh, hey man, put in a couple of extras in the box, a killer RC light controller that I'm not gonna use, thanks man. Uh, also got a set of 1.55 tire foams from a, uh, from Crawler Innovations uh, that I got from Jalus. Not going to use them either. Uh, they fit Pitbull Growlers perfectly, so enjoy, he says. Uh, if you have any problems, let me know. Thanks, Charlie. Well, thank you, Charlie, because you made an, me an amazing deal on this. Let me take off my jacket. Let's just kind of do this the right way. Hopefully we don't cut into anything. No, just being careful. Uh-huh, good. Good job on the uh, packaging crankbait. That's his forum name, crankbait. Ha-ha-ha. Uh -huh. This was his, it was his personal uh, truck. He knows that I've been getting into the army and war themes lately. Check it out. Unimog 406. CCO1 chassis. Some people might be questioning why I even would bother with a, a, a CCO1. Because they're very, some people would say, incapable. They're very scale looking, but there are things you can do to CCO1s that make them a heck of a lot of fun and challenging. Oh yeah, this is much larger than I thought it was. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's the foams. Thank you, my man. Put these off to the side. Now he did some modifications to this truck, so when I saw it, I knew immediately that I had to show the viewers of RC Adventures. Okay, got it, there's a bag inside of that. There's a light controller. <clears throat> Beautiful. Da -da -da. Thank you for doing such a good job packaging. It looked like everything paid off. Get rid of the box. Aha, check it out. Yeah, I don't know. I, I personally love this thing. I haven't even looked at it yet. You guys have seen more of the front of it than I have. Looks like it got one, uh, one of the wooden back braces out. Just glued. I can glue that back in. Look at this. He did all this. He painted. He put in the back. Put on the mirrors. Painted in some rust. Check this out. It's like a mash vehicle, hey? Tires, awesome. Bathtub chassis, got a little rust around the gas tank. Okay, right on the back, some accessories we can put in there. Awesome, buddy. Thanks, crankbait. Love it, man. Wanted to make sure I didn't unbox it, not on camera, right, so everyone could see. I love it, just kind of taking it in right now. A Mercedes Unimog. I really wanted to check this out. And the fact that he used it, well, that's one of the coolest things. Okay, so light kit, motor. He has an axial speed control in there, the AE2. It's got an axial motor. Looks like it's an HPI servo. And the light kit, full light kit. Now the CCO1 uh, does come with a light kit already. Um, but just to see the fact that it's in there, I'm unhooking it. There we go. Oh yeah, he did a whole bunch. 
Yeah, even an axial uh, uh, case for the receiver box. So the battery goes in here. The whole transmission, everything on the inside is sealed. And look at, see? Now there are these uh, um, suspension, like a leaf spring, but these are more like kind of links. Yeah, it goes on to these back suspension there. I don't have any experience with this. This is why I wanted to get one. You know, but I did look at Damned Camera. Um, he's one of my fellow YouTubers in Calgary here. He also has a CCO one. Look at this. Here is, this looks like the Tamiya drive shaft. Is that the one that comes with it? I'll find out. I do have one on the wall and I will build one. Um, I also have the CR01 uh, Jeep Wrangler. I want to do that. That'll be like an end of the winter thing. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking, it's pretty happy, man. I've already got some upgrades that are here. I thought I was going to do it to the Jeep Wrangler, uh, but who knows, I may have to order another set or something just to kind of build on Crankbait's truck. Now, the receiver, the radio, I have to supply that myself. I don't mind, as you guys know, I've got a few of them kicking around, but all in one, huh? The Mercedes Unimog. Really cool with the mods you did, buddy. Really cool. Okay, uh, that's it. You wanna have a look up close? Do you want me to take the camera down and have a look up close? I'm doing this all in one shot. So much time I have today. Come on, I'll show you. Wow, nice, nice shot of it there. This will look amazing on the trail. Polish up those windows a little bit. Nice. Oh yeah, how many of you are looking over there right now? <laughs> That's my winter project. It is coming up. Nice, so a little tiny toe point? Is that what that is? Let's take this off for a second. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You could put a little trailer to it there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Looking on the inside with the light. Everybody asks, even my buddy Colin today was mentioning he works at a hobby store. Everyone asks where to get this, uh, um, I can't even remember what it's called right now, this sheathing type material, Auto Value or uh, Princess Auto, any kind of auto place. These are just normal electronic wire uh, housings. Okay, it looks like I'll probably, he only had that in one side. Yeah, didn't need it. Maybe it went up from the bottom or maybe this body actually just protected it anyway. I'm going to completely waterproof and submerge this. Awesome.